guys. I'm gonna show you how to catch a bluefin tuna. See a lot of people struggling with figuring out how to set up your rods and where to go. So click on the tuna and it says depth is mid, bait is shrimp. So it'll only take shrimp. It won't take anything other than shrimp. You need to know a fishing pole and you need to be able to trawl. So that means you have to have a fishing boat or a work boat or something bigger than a dinghy that you start off with. All right, so I'm right here. I have autopilot, so I'm gonna set waypoint. So my fishing pole that I'm gonna use is, I think, this one. So this is the setup I have for this. I just have a simple spinning reel. Doesn't have to be a 450 pound. It can, uh, I mean, you can probably settle for this one for 2,000. Or if you're doing, if you're a fan of casting reels, I would go with probably this one. No, you want at least 200 pound uh, durability. So make sure you at least got 200 pounds. The rod, you want to match your uh, your pounds you have for your, your reel. So, I go with a 200 pound rod. Your lure, I just use a three star J hook. The ultra J hook. It works wonders for me, and I like it. So, your line is the most important thing. You need to have a good line so it doesn't snap. Because if it snaps, you lose your lure and your line. But you'd rather your line be weaker than your rod and your reel because those are more expensive. Your line's not that expensive. So, I mean, if you can get a $1,200 line, go for it. It's 300 pounds. I mean, it, you should not catch a blue fin more than 300 pounds. I mean, we're going to use shrimp. We'll throw this out there. And we'll draw. The speed of trawling doesn't matter because I've been doing 16 knots. And as you see, I. It's on! Every time. If you catch fish other than tuna, try switching to the uh, Just play around with it, switch until you find something that catches the tuna every single time. I'm going to go ahead and throw my other rods into the water. I can go ahead and get these going so I can put on the tuna. They're all set up with the same. They're all different rods and reels. So, the only thing same is the rods and three. It's on. It's on tonight. Swordfish are good to catch too. I can get an air. Tuna air. Get it on tonight. So there's an 83 pound tuna. Man, you got 102 bucks for that. They're usually no less than a. Uh, I mean, you can catch them down to like 14 pounds, but I usually throw those back. I don't keep anything less than 30 pounds. 